when you get frustrated, when you feel that God's not answering your call, just wait a few moments and call again. Because God is interested in what you have to say. He's interested in your frustrations. He's, your emergency is also His emergency. Your crisis is also His crisis. Well, good morning. And thank you for taking some time out uh, with me on this Saturday morning. And I hope that you're chilling with a bit of a hot cup of coffee. And, you know, we've had a lot of rain in Gauteng for weeks now. And we don't like to be cooped up as South Africans. So it's great to just be out here on, with a mountain behind me. And um, I was thinking this morning, what happens when you are on an emergency call to God about something that's a crisis in your life and the signal is lost? Well, if you're watching this morning from a YouTube channel, Please push subscribe. And if you're watching from any other platform, I'd appreciate if you could share once or twice or even a comment. It'll be great because when you comment and when you share, you are helping me to change social media into a positive medium as opposed to a negative one because there's so much negativity on social media and time out and time out is all about being positive and sharing a positive story and so can I just uh, again say thank you for helping me in this regard so well welcome to time out again my name is Jack Vint have you ever uh, tried to call God and you feel that it's urgent about something in your life and you just feel uh, you just there's no signal or you're busy talking to God and the signal is gone. <laughs> you're just talking to yourself. There's no one out there. Well, don't despair this morning. I want to show you about some of the scenarios that you and I go through that frustrate us, but also have a solution for you. Uh, so don't go away. You know, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, I think it says, God says, call on me, Jack, and I will answer you. And I'm going to show you great and mighty things that you did not know. What an awesome scripture. It's an invite. Call on me and I will answer you. You know, um, with all the technology that's going around, we as South Africans are always on our phone, it seems. But, you know, before I get there, you know, when South Africans are under pressure, when you're under pressure, we seem to make a lot of jokes to cope. And this week, you know, when uh, our president announced that he's going to appoint uh, a minister of electricity to solve our crisis of, of blackouts and power shortages, you know, a lot of people laughed because you, we all know that appointing a minister on any problem does not solve it. And, you know, somebody jokingly said, well, if they're going to appoint a minister of electricity, what happens when the electricity goes down like it always does? Does he lose his job? <laughs> and then somebody said, well, if he's going to appoint a, a minister of electricity, the next minister he's going to appoint is the minister of potholes because that's also a crisis wherever you go. And then somebody piped up and said, no, he's already appointed a minister of potholes. It's the new mayor of Johannesburg. <laughs> well, anyway, this morning I want to just share with you, you know, in the world of technology, oftentimes you see people on the phone, maybe you on your phone, either receiving a call or making a call. And I want to use this analogy to show you how sometimes when we try and call God, we get frustrated. You get frustrated because you feel God's not answering you. He's not hearing you. And you know, I don't know about you, but if you've ever used a mobile phone, you know, one of the things that happens to you when you try and make a call is you get this answer. The, the subscriber you are phoning or are calling is not available currently. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard I get frustrated. Imagine you feeling you're calling God and he's not available currently. And that's a real feeling. I know it's just a feeling, but it makes you feel frustrated because your request, your call is urgent. And now the subscriber is not available. And you know, the next frustration that we often face is that you call and that you just get an engaged signal. <laughs> You know, the modern phone, it says uh, the caller you're calling is currently on another call. 
You know, and I, I often, I don't know about you, but I think that when I'm calling God, how many other people aren't calling him as well? And, you know, why would my call, why would your call be so important to God? Does he even care about your call? Well, I just want to say to you this morning, God loves to hear your voice. He loves you to call him because he challenges us to say, call me and I'll answer you. Your call is important to God. When he wakes up in the morning, he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear what you have to say to him. So don't ever think that your call isn't important. So when you get an engaged signal, it just may just be when you feel that way, just wait and call again. That's what I do. I don't give up. I just say, okay, that person's on a call. He can't be on a call forever. I'll phone him again. And so just go on and phone him again. Of course, the third thing is, uh, you know, when you are on a call and you're speaking to this person, you want to tell them the critical thing and then they drop the call. Now, when I first got my call, you know, the service provider, Vodacom, they used to drop many calls. I think deliberately sometimes I felt because you had to call back two or three times. And I always felt I'm paying for the same call five times and I still haven't finished my message. I don't know about you and it got me frustrated. You're on the verge of saying, God, I'm, I'm calling you and this is why I'm calling you. It's important. And oops, the, the line goes down. <laughs> and you feel there's nobody listening. Now, uh, when they drop a call, you can talk for five minutes and think the person's there and then they're gone. And then you phone them back and you wonder and say, well, how much of that conversation did you hear in the first place? <laughs> and it's, very, it's a very frustrating feeling. But the worst and the last one, of course, is when you try and call God and the analogy I want to use, or you try and call somebody and there's no signal. Like often happens because the towers are down and uh, things are happening around you. You're in an area where they black out the signal. Um, and I want to say to you, and it almost feels like somebody's conspiring against you, that there's no signal between you and God. But I, I want to say it's just a feeling because the reality is God's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. Uh, there is no place that God can't be. There's no tower that he needs or electricity or power source. God is always on call, ready to take your call. Because he says, call me in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you did not know. So when we speak to God, when you speak to God, there's always going to be some form of revelation coming to you. Because God promised that. So I want to say to you this morning, when you get frustrated, when you feel that God's not answering your call, just wait a few moments and call again. Because God is interested in what you have to say. He's interested in your frustrations. He's, your emergency is also His emergency. Your crisis is also His crisis. So do what Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says. Call on me. And I will answer you, says the Lord, and show you great and mighty things that you haven't known. So this morning I challenge you, as you sit there and listen, why don't you make that call? My name is Jack Vint. You've been watching Time Out, and I'm going to catch you next week.